Hello, I'm Robert James Collier, and I play Violet, the Dowager Countess. I play Thomas Barrow, the... F no, he's, he used to be a footman, now he's an evil butler, the evil butler. So, Rob, what can you tell us about Series 5? Not much, we're contractually obliged not to say a thing. But I can tell you this, Thomas is still up to his old sort of tricks, he's blackmailing Baxter, that's going to come to a head. Is she going to be exposed? Will she be outcast from Downton Abbey? Who knows, Mosley gets involved and becomes a knight in shining armour, so it's all very much as, as things were for Thomas. Do you think it's time for Thomas to meet his match? Yeah, don't think it's Mosley, but he does, he does try. Um, but I, I would like him to meet his match. I think his match was Mrs. Mrs. O'Brien, to be fair, but she's, she's, led, she's left, the, left the nest now, so he's cock of the walk. And what else can you tell us about the drama that's going on downstairs? Are you going to be very much in the centre of that? Um, I think there's a, there's a, a big storyline where somebody um, leaves the Abbey and um, Thomas is very much embroiled in that and it sort of sets him on a journey of inward thinking where he sort of questions who he is and it deals with his sexuality and he goes on this huge emotional journey. Uh, about himself and it's, it's quite a sad storyline for Thomas so I'm hoping if he makes it out the other side people will see a different Thomas. A lot of people today have been talking about the new people that have joined Downton Abbey. How has that been for you? Has it been quite exciting to have new faces around the place? Well it's always like flattering when you see people like Richard E. Grant the fact that they want to come into our little TV show is great and Sue Johnson, I've been doing a lot of scenes with Sue because she comes in playing quite a spiky maid and obviously that's going to upset Thomas. So we're kind of a, a, you know, a lot of spiky moments where we're trying to outdo each other. Um, so maybe Sue Johnson's character, Denker, is the one um, who may finally beat Thomas Blessing. Sounds dramatic. Did you feel a special affinity? That was my intention, to make it sound dramatic. <laughs> I could have done better, but you never, did mind. Really well. never mind. <laughs> did you have a special affinity with Sue because she was on Corey and you were on Corey? Did you feel a I only found out the other her? day that she was on Corey. I didn't even know she was on Do you not it. watch Corey no. anymore? <laughs> no, I, I never watched it. I was just in it. Um, but I only found out the other day, so I was like, oh, wow. Um, but I've watched all her other stuff. She's, she's a bit of a legend. Um, so to be doing scenes with her, I'm going, wow, Sue Johnson. And you just learn, watch. Watch her, learn from her. She's class. Class act and a class lady as well. Very funny. And just finally, if there's one thing you could pick out from Series 5 of Downton Abbey that we cannot miss, what, what storyline would it be? I'm going to be really selfish here and pick a moment in myself. It's Thomas' it's moment, defining moment for Thomas. Where he, where he questions who he is and the aftermath of that. I'm picking it, I'm being selfish. It's that, something happens, it's, it's quite horrendous, very traumatic. Sounds very dramatic, we cannot wait to see that. Again, listen. that was my intention. <laughs> Hopefully it is dramatic, because if it's not, Scotland's going to be angry. They're going to be fuming, sorry. Sorry if it's not Scotland. We'll see that from September on ACTV, we look forward to it. Okay, listen, lovely, lovely to thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers, bye-bye.